and welcome to chapel. I'm so excited to be able to be talking to you today about being reliable. I know you've been hearing a lot of great things about being reliable and hearing about some great people in the Bible who were very reliable. When I think about reliable, I think of another word that's kind of the same, dependable. If I can depend on someone, I know they'll do something well, they'll do it with their whole heart, and I know that they'll do it because they want to show love. When I think of people who are reliable or dependable, I think of two things. One, they do something to be reliable because they love God, and two, they do it because they love people. That's part of the great commandment that Jesus told us. When I think of reliable, I think about Joseph in the Old Testament. Joseph had 10 older brothers and one younger brother. Those 10 older brothers threw Joseph in a well and sold him in slavery. When he was into slavery, he went all the way to Egypt. There, while he was in Egypt, he showed that he one, loved God, and two, loved people. And he demonstrated that through being really reliable, dependable. The first place where Joseph went was to a man named Potiphar's house. While he was there, he was really reliable in small things and Potiphar noticed. And then Potiphar made him in charge of big things. Another place where Joseph was, was in prison actually for something he didn't even do. Joseph loved God and he loved people. He demonstrated being reliable by helping out in small ways. The guards noticed and made Joseph in charge in really big ways. While he was there, he helped people because he loved the Lord and he loved God. Well, well, some of those people he helped happened to work for the Pharaoh. When Pharaoh had some crazy dreams, those people remembered Joseph. They told Pharaoh, there is a man in jail. He loves God and he loves people and he wants to help. He's very reliable. Pharaoh called Joseph and Joseph told him through God's will what those dreams meant. Pharaoh realized he would need someone to help him rule the kingdom and help him with what this dream meant. He chose Joseph. He saw that Joseph was very trustworthy and reliable in small ways and decided to place him in big situations to be the second ruler of all of Egypt. And Joseph ended up saving all of the world from a terrible famine. It was amazing. Well, when I think about Joseph, I remember that if I love God and love people, I can show my reliability in real small ways and big ways. I may feel like I just want to do big things for God, but the Bible tells us in Luke that those who can be trusted with very little might be given very big things to do for God. God looks at all of those things as a way to show our love and glory to him. But most importantly, God wants us. God wants us to love him and be part of his family and to have a relationship with him. Jesus was God's, is God's son. He was sent so that we can know God and feel his love. Jesus is the light that guides us and directs us like a lighthouse. A lighthouse is reliable. The ships trust it to bring them safely to shore. We can always trust in Jesus to be reliable. I hope today you can be reliable in little things and see what great things, big things God has for you. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord God, for loving us and giving us your son Jesus to be our savior. We pray, Lord God, that you will give us opportunities that you have decided for us in advance. We trust you, Lord God, with our day. We love you so. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope to see you soon. Have a super day.